Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Meet on your iPhone. Let's get started. So step number one should be no surprise. We're going to install Google Meet. So just go to your app store, open that up, and we're just going to type in Meet, search for that. And it should be one of the first ones that you see and click on Get. Take a second to install, double click, and then tap Open. And then step number two, sign in. So I already have some of my information entered in there. If you don't, you can just add that in. If you have any sort of Google account, a Gmail account or a business Google account, you could you have access to this. So you just sign in with that account. I'm gonna continue as myself. And then it's gonna ask you if you would like to allow it access to your camera. We're gonna click on allow. And it's gonna ask if you wanna have access to your microphone, we're gonna allow. It's up to you if you wanna allow it to send notifications. I think it's probably a good idea that way if somebody is trying to contact you, it'll get reminders that way. And then it'll ask you if you want to allow access to your contacts. I'm gonna say not allow for that. And then it'll also ask you if you wanna make it easier for people to reach you by using your phone number. Uh, again, that's totally up to you, but I'm gonna just say that I wanna remind me later. And you're in. Step number three is to start a meeting. So you just go down to the bottom, you see where it says new, click on that. And it'll give you a suggestion of anybody that's already in your network that you can connect with that way. So from here, you could just tap on a person and it'll contact them with the call, or you can create a link to share with people later. If you click on that, it'll give you the link that you could now text or email that, that to that person and then click on join meeting. And it'll give you a little preview of what you look like in there, what you sound like, and those controls. And then all you want to do is click join. Now, step four, let's familiarize ourselves a little bit with the in control menu. Now, right now, I'm the only one in the call. But normally, the full screen will be filled up with whoever you're talking with or the other participants that are in there. You can tap and hold your image down at the bottom and move it to different pot spots on the screen if you'd like. And that way you're not in the way of whatever you're trying to look at on the screen. You can also reverse the camera. So if you just click that camera button up at the top right hand corner, it'll switch the view. So now you're using the camera on the back of the lens. And there's the camera that we're looking at in there. So you can adjust it that way. And then across the bottom, you can turn your camera off so that they can't see you. You can also mute your microphone so now they can't hear you. Uh, so if you're in a big meeting, you might wanna do that. And then you can also raise your hand, which means that it'll, it'll denote to whoever you're speaking with that you have something to say. Again, that more comes in handy if you have a lot of people on the call at the same time. Then if you hit those little three little buttons, you have some emojis you can add. You can add other people to the call. You can chat within there. You have a lot of different controls that are in there. Step number five, let's talk about scheduling a meeting. So if you go to new and across the top, instead of creating a link, you go to schedule. Now you could schedule this for a later date. Maybe I wanna schedule this for Friday at 2 p.m. weekly and you select start time and end time. And then you could add guests in there so that they'll get the invite. And then all they have to do is click on that Google Meet and then they'll be directed right into the call. And again, because this is all cloud-based and it links to your existing Google account, any invites that you create on your computer or are scheduled on your computer or somebody sends you an email with a, with a link will also show up in the app. They're all synced together. And with that, you're up and running on Google Meet with your iPhone. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.